That's right, man. That voice right there is a voice that we have grown to love and trust. And I don't use that word frequently, have to be the word trust, especially when it comes to anything affiliated with entertainment. I know it. Because a lot of things are just that. It's entertainment. I know it. may it. not be no truth or no authenticity in what they do. Well. But when it comes to our next guest, au contraire. Mon frère. She's come into this room and she's rearranged the way we think about <laughs> life. She's re rewired our subconscious, but of course, she's been sensing and feeling spirits since the age of four. She's a best selling author. Give her a round of applause for that. She has an award winning podcast. Give her a round of applause mm -hmm. for that. Uh, she did the reality TV series Long Island Medium from 2011 to 2019. She got paid for a long Ooh, time. Wee. Give her a round of it's applause hard to for do that. that. It's hard to do that, Heather B. In the reality space, for real. Touring over 20 years. Give her a round of applause for that. Yes, yeah, zero. Got a beautiful family. She sustained during all of this work life balance, and now she's a grandmother as well. Give her applause for Come that. Come on, baby. And she's here to return to tell with her new television show, Raising Spirits, which is on Lifetime. New episodes are every Thursday. Give it up for the one and only Teresa Caputo. Woo! Beyond the Readings will premiere Thursday, April 18th on Lifetime. I'm happy to have her back. Yes. Heather, we've been talking about her. Welcome home, Teresa. Thank welcome you. home. That's it. Come, Come on. Home. Welcome Thank home. You. Yeah. It feels good to be home. Uh, wow. Yeah, this you. is amazing. What do You've done so much. Like, you really yeah. enterprised your mm -hmm. gift, your talent, right? Yeah. You, it, how did you pick I, it? I don't look at it that way. You I don't just, look at it like that? Okay. I, I just feel like I'm just doing what I was meant to do here in the physical world. Okay. And that is just to help people move on after the loss of a loved one. Mm -hmm. Give them some peace and comfort. And here I am over 20 years later. Yeah. So... Have you have you had any losses in, in, in recent time? I have. I just uh, lost my uncle um, within the past uh, month. And um, unfortunately, my assistant, Lindsay, um, her fiancé was killed in a car accident. Oh, wow. Wow. Sorry to hear that, Lindsay. Sorry so, to hear that, sorry Lindsay. Sorry to hear that. Wow. So, yeah, we've had quite a bit of loss within this past year. Did you feel anything from those particular losses? Did you feel any? Did oh, you yeah. sense anything? A absolutely. Well, Devin's always popping in, giving uh -huh. messages. He was walking around my house just the other night. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Um, That's yeah. her fiance. That, yeah, yeah, her okay. fiance. Yeah. Uh huh. And what um, about your uncle? My uncle, I did feel from him uh, twice, and I was doing a reading yesterday for the for the show, uh -huh. and he kind of popped in in the reading, and. Um, was able to give some messages because that's hard to receive messages for my own people because you know I'm thinking am I just remembering this is is this just my own thoughts my own feelings so to have that validated is remarkable yeah mm. wow yeah Teresa is here man give her a round of applause um I want to we got the phones lit up soon as we you <laughs> know but, but before we get into that man like how's life how outside oh, of work it's amazing mm -hmm. yeah. it's so good i i couldn't be more fortunate and blessed and grateful Amen. you know my parents you know i still live next door to my parents wow. oh my wow. gosh a blessing yeah so i'm able to keep my eye on them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad is the busiest 83 year old man <laughs> yeah yeah wow. 83 yeah. wow 83 god bless him and um you know uh my son just got married mm -hmm. and Congratulations. Uh, yeah. finally and do yeah. No, I'm just going. <laughs> Finally. Um, yeah, no, it's true. They've been together for it was 15 time. years. Yeah, They're I remember together the same time, person, see? right? Yeah, 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 Leah, yeah. 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 So they just got married uh, in June in uh, Italy. And then, I, of course, my granddaughter. Beautiful. Yeah, two I years like old. So. How, many, how many neighbors are asking you for money? Not a soul. Nobody comes Nobody. to you for money? No. Because I don't have any. <laughs> 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 they know. <laughs> They know. They know. Oh they All, right. Know. All right. Well, let's talk. Okay. So you're returning with your show, Raising Spirits, uh, mm -hmm. on, on Lifetime, right? right. April 18th. Is okay. The debut. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the, you got two series. Yeah. Raising mm -hmm. Spirits. And then the companion joint. Explain this, Teresa. So, so Raising Spirits is um, pretty similar to how Long Island Medium was, except we're going mm -hmm. a little bit deeper into my personal life. I take you on the road. So, uh -huh. you know, I travel all over the country on a tour bus doing live shows. So I kind of take you on that, see what it's like, you know, doing the live shows and then popping up and just surprising people with readings in different cities and states all over the country. Mm. Um, behind the reading, uh, we're going uh, showing more of readings. Uh-huh. 
we're actually following up with people after their readings. Oh, wow. To check up on them a couple of months later. And it's something that we've been wanting to do for a really long time. So to be able to do that, you know, because you're watching the show. You you see, and, and they have their little interview after and they tell you how better how much better they feel right uh-huh. but to go back and visit them months later i like that it's going to be really through. exciting yeah yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah to really see how they because that's the hard part i feel like you know sitting sitting across the table from me and receiving a reading isn't easy and then getting all of these messages now you have to take those and apply them into your life on how it's really going to help you make tomorrow a little bit easier yeah you know and that and that's hard that's yeah. hard i want to i want to play something for you teresa that I just received it last better night. Better not be scary. It might be. I don't, I don't <laughs> want to hear no scary things. Now. It may be. Um, mm-hmm. The fact that a friend of mine sent me this voc- this recording, right? Uh, so and it's a voice that they heard that wasn't in the room. Well, no. In 1996, prior to his uh, murder, Tupac and okay. I sat down. That, oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, that's not going to. Well, you don't want to go there? No, I, you, okay, okay, okay. you could do you, you yeah. could do whatever you want. Well, uh, but when I walked in the room, I felt that someone died in a car accident, and that somebody was murdered. There were two separate souls. When I walked into the oh, room, she goes, yo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, well, we was playing Biggie <laughs> with, with Jay Z, and how how did Biggie? Okay, pass? so Biggie was shot in a car, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm you played living. the Tupac and then, voice. And then a friend of mine, I did one of Pac's last interviews, and a friend of mine back then, um, and a friend of mine who actually recorded the interview, mm-hmm. just randomly sent me this voicing from Pac from then. But he sent it last night. Mm. I want to play it for you, see if you oh, feel God. it. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yo. It's Tupac, Machiavelli the Dawn, representing that real hip hop with Sway, Rudy. Okay. Done? Yeah. Hold on, let some time. Did it stop? Yeah. It's Tupac, Machiavelli the Dawn, representing that real hip hop with Sway, Rudy, representing for the streets. Then he did another one. Anything? No. What's up, y'all? This is Tupac with a fat plate of grits, bacon, and eggs. Tell these people to get up. Hey, Sway. Anything? Nothing? No. (laughs) (laughs) See, that's why Teresa's the truth, because she tells you the truth. You feel nothing? (laughs) I got nothing. Nothing. It's not a magic trick. She's like, okay, Sway. All right, man. I just thought I'd try a different angle, Teresa. We're trying different things. <laughs> Yo, I can't. That was probably you. the weirdest thing anyone has ever done. In the 20 years I'm doing this, that's got to be the weirdest I shit. No, we got to Teresa go home tonight. I mean, come on. Like... Now, I gave up cursing for Lent now, Sway. That was not right. <laughs> Two Hail Marys, you'll be good tonight. Yeah, I'll be good. Okay. I'll be good. Let's clean the room. We're going to come back with Teresa Caputo. I told All you right. to clean the room. You didn't want to listen to me. 888 742 Swain in the morning. Heather B and Tracy G, the whole gang is here. We got our other extended member here with us as well, Teresa Caputo. You know her as the Long Island medium, but... She also has her show, Raising Spirits, on Lifetime. A new episode is every Thursday. Um, Beyond the Readings uh, will premiere Thursday, April 18th on Lifetime, yes. which, which is a companion series to Raising Spirits. Teresa, we, you know, Heather's been waiting for you to read The Room. Can you explain what Reading The Room is? And- I, I, I don't know. I just feel things and I say things. Okay. Read The Room usually is like when I say something stupid and my son says to me, Ma, <laughs> read The Room. Read The Room, Mom. That's what yeah. Read The Room means yeah. today. Okay, Why do you say something dumb? Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that's exactly what it means. You got to <laughs> recognize your audience, Ma. Yeah, you better you recognize. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, but, yeah, so a couple of things happened when I, when I walked in, and I don't know if there's someone on the phone line Mm. um but i felt that someone lost their daughter um uh but i do want to talk about the car accident though because i did feel that the second i walked uh through here and then into the room so when a soul puts me in a seat and then they eject me and hit me in the back of the head that's my symbol for that someone passed in some type of vehicle accident could be a motorcycle car accident Mm. um but there had to be something because i did feel ejected or thrown from the whatever i was on Uh does anyone understand that well well my partner's um cousin 
He died from a motorcycle accident okay. in 2020. And do you understand the car accident? I had a friend that passed in the car accident as well. Okay. Mm. So, and I and this this is kind of an example of where I talk about piggybacking, mm -hmm. where souls will kind of come together. But I see how I was just looking at you. Spirit always has me look at someone. That's so torch. I'm going to say that this is also for you. Were you, did he live here? Be, oh, because I don't know. Were you supposed to be with him or something? No. Okay, so when a soul switches my seat in a, in a vehicle, that's my symbol for that plans changed that day or something changed, whether they weren't supposed to be in that vehicle or they weren't mm. supposed to drive or they weren't supposed to go that way. And we feel or carry that survivor's guilt of, oh, if I drove or if I didn't change the plans, that that never would have happened. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. actually true okay. in my case. So validating not wanting you or no one to carry that survivor's guilt mm -hmm. of feeling that you could have prevented the departure or they were not supposed to die that day. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Do you find change in odd places or do you notice change? What do you mean? What like, kind of change? Um, like, do you find like uh, like pennies oh, or like dimes coins. or mm. coins, like in odd places? Or change. Uh, I I don't know if it's odd, but I do notice like change. Yeah, I do. Oh, wait, okay. I do. Wait, wait, know wait, that on. that's wait, from wait, them. Wait, hold on. Lonnie Light, who's on the phone line. So on line seven, we have mm. a caller named Melinda who said she wants to know why she keeps seeing coins everywhere. Oh. oh we got her on the line right yeah. now. Melinda is from ATL. Oh, I'm so excited. Melinda, yes, welcome I'm so to the show. Excited. Wow. Hey, Melinda. Wow. So, hey, Teresa I'm Caputo so is here. So, <laughs> you had a sense of someone finding small change? Right, finding coins. Coins. Like, noticing coins. Okay. Like, could be pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters. Yes. Wow. Dimes on heads. Okay. So, know so, that that's so, a sign from yeah. spirit. Yes. And... I also have a coin that has a guardian angel on it that first appeared when I was in college having a rough time. It would disappear and then wow. show up randomly wow. when I was having a bad day. I haven't seen it in over 10 years. Yesterday, I was found having it. a really bad time, and it showed up in my dish of dimes. Oh, my, oh my God. Well, I always say that's and God's I'm like, work. who is it? Yeah. So I want to ask you several things. So um, I did feel, uh, the, who was the father figure for you that has departed? So if it's not your dad, it could be a grandfather, uncle, or someone like a dad, but you had to have that relationship. And there was also a mother figure as well that stepped forward. Um, I do have an uncle um, that I was very close to that passed away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so know that that's a sign from him. And where does the mom come in? So the grandmother? Or is that? Um, I, was, I was with my mamma, uh, or excuse me, my grandmother when she passed away. Okay. So we she's departed close. too. So know that she steps forward as well to validate. Now, this isn't only from one person of where the change comes from. So sometimes if you see the dime, if you think of your grandmother, know that it's from her. If you think and you think mm -hmm. of someone else, know that that coin is from them. It's the soul getting you to recognize it to validate that they're with you at that exact moment. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, oh wow. don't thank me. Thank them. Melinda, make sure you follow <laughs> her. Make sure you follow <laughs> no, her. I do. Teresa, how can she follow you? Oh, uh, Teresa Caputo. And I, I got a blue check box oh. next to everything. Okay. <laughs> so. I, follow, I do follow you. I'm a huge fan. Oh, so. okay, thank you so much. much. Okay. Thank you. Well, well, make sure you watch them Lifetime Thursdays, too, all right? Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you all so much. You're God very bless. welcome. You're a super citizen. I'll sway in the morning. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Hey. Should we stay? Tracy, you wanted to. Um, oh, sit. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Something I've been wondering about, Teresa, what's mm -hmm. your process? Um, and I'm not sure what your beliefs are about the afterlife. Sure. But it just entered my mind. Can we assume that when spirits contact you, it's because they've gotten to the other side and they're at peace? Do you think you'd be able to communicate with somebody that was still in a limbo state? Well, I, I, I wouldn't know that. I know that I only channel souls that walk in God's white light. Okay. So if that is a limbo, then yeah. You know, I have seen souls that I can see an energy, but I can't lower my vibration low enough. Then that's my sign that the person, that their energy is somewhere where I can't directly connect with. Mm. So I, I would have to receive information through another soul. 
to deliver a message, which has happened. Wow. Um, and it's unfortunately the gentleman that 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 did happen. He ended up um, he killed his girlfriend and then committed suicide. Mm. And I was talking to the mom and said to the mom, your daughter is here and she wants you to know that he is remorseful and sorry and knows what he has taken from you. And when the woman looked at me, she said, that's what I wanted to know when I came to your show tonight, is if he knew and if he was re remorseful for killing my daughter. Wow. Yeah. And Teresa Caputo is here. We got a lot of callers. Yeah. Woo! And I want to take as many as I can, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay, we have Angelica is on the line from Idaho. Angelica, welcome to the show. <laughs> What's Angelica? up, Angelica? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay. Good morning. Good day. Say hello to Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Um, so my question is, my father passed away um, unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. And you didn't get to say That's... goodbye. And you feel that you wish you could have been there for your dad and that you could have changed to the outcome. Uh, yeah, in a sense. I mean, I, I was I was able to be there, but it's like there was, it was like sudden. Mm -hmm. I was in Colorado, made it down. But like my mom lives with a lot of like, did she do the right thing? Is See, he okay? So, yeah, so when souls say that to me immediately of that, you know, like we wish we could have done more, I feel like your dad said to me that he died on his terms. Do you understand that? Yeah. Where, and I'll, I'll, I'll hypothetical this. Let's just say if your dad wasn't feeling well or didn't go to the doctor or do what he was supposed to do, fair enough? Right, yes. Know that he takes responsibility for that and does not want your mom or anyone else to carry that burden of feeling that they could have done more for him. Was he very tall, your dad? Ah, uh, no, he was actually pretty short. Okay. He well, was... well, I'm going to let, let me explain to you what My happened. My grandfather he, was tall. Well, they uh... stood next to me and he put his chest up and he and he like made it look like how strong he was. So that's my symbol for if either someone was very tall and or if you remember them in a very weak or fragile state, not wanting you yes. to remember them in that way. Wow. Um, yeah, because it's my mom's first birthday, my mom's birthday in 10 days without my dad. And oh. it's been pretty hard for the family, so, but especially well, like my mother, my, my nephew. Well, let me ask you this. Who has the young child? My sister, Aaliyah. OK, because your dad just told me that the child sees your dad. And he also told me that tell mom what she feels when she sleeps at night know that that's him because he laid me in a bed and I can feel the bed move. So know that that is your dad's soul letting oh her know gosh. that he is with her at that exact moment. <laughs> Did your dad like oh. to drink martinis or something? Or a, he just said, don't you dare forget to celebrate. And 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 and, and he was doing like a cheers. Oh, my husband would like, like, yeah. It was, everybody's like, oh, you know, my dad was like a whiskey guy, but he hadn't drank in some time because of his illnesses and stuff, the diabetes and everything. But for it to be, you know, he went, he he got sick. He went to the hospital. He had pneumonia and nothing was working. And he mm -hmm. was like on oxygen. And it was just very sudden. So when he passed away on October 3rd, yeah. I lost a lot. Like I lost sure. my dad and I lost part of my mm -hmm. mom. Mm -hmm. And it's like I miscarried the next month after that. Oh, my so gosh. It was, just, yeah. whew, it was a lot last year. <laughs> Oof. Did you lose the son? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. They could never tell me. Because your dad, he, your dad showed me a blue blanket and said, tell her I have her son with me on the other side. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my dad was just, he would call himself the brown bomber because he was such a funny man. Yeah. And it's just like, I made a promise to him that, that I would take care of my mom. He goes, good like, luck with that, that trying I to take care of mom. She's tough. <laughs> Yes, he is. <laughs> he is a tough, yeah. Yeah. tough, yeah. traditional, uh, you know, Hispanic yeah. Mexican mother. And it's just like, you know, uh, we have all these, like, I, we believe in, you know, afterlife. We believe mm -hmm. in spirits. And we believe, I smell cigarettes at times. And yeah. I'm like, I know that's my dad. Yeah. So he just validated also, it's important to tell your mom that what she feels when you sleep, know that that's him. And to embrace everything that you sense and feel and know that it is his soul, that he is at peace and he is glad that he did not suffer to his death.
Angelica, I want to thank you for being transparent and, yes. and calling in and, and trusting Teresa and trusting this platform Absolutely. to hear your story. Ooh, you and, and I hope so you f- feel better that you did call, right? And, and yes, so, I did. Good. So, yes. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, team. Thank you, Sway. Thank you, Heather B. You're welcome. Tracy, everybody, I like this brings so much. Yeah. Are you, pre- are you uh, pregnant now or are you having another baby? I don't. That's a surprise. I don't know. Huh. huh. No longer is it a surprise. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> mm. so we were there. All right, hey, Angelica. <laughs> no, we weren't. No, we weren't. We were not there. Okay, I'll keep y'all we were it. not I'll there. I'll call you guys back if I am pregnant. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll call back. <laughs> I ain't wow. see. I don't want to say you, that. You a citizen. Sway in the morning. Sway Teresa said he ain't was messing there. with me. Sway, since, uh, he's making up stuff here. No, no, Nobody's no, avoiding He's making up stuff, Sway. No, I, we we didn't witness nothing. We, what do you mean we didn't witness we didn't nothing? Witness we that. were there. Baby See, don't just say nothing. Okay. <laughs> Ever since I played Tupac's voice, Teresa been looking at me sideways. <laughs> no. You sure, Teresa? Hold on. Absolutely. Right. One more. Tupac, Machiavelli, the dawn, representing that real hip hop. Sway, truly representing for the streets. You, you getting nothing from Pac with that? Uh, he Still. loves you, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take one more? Let's take another call. You got plenty of calls. How much time we have with her? Did you want to ask anything about the accident? The only reason why I asked about the, if you had a question about the accident, because when a soul shows me like tire marks um, and then they bring me to the scene of the accident, that's usually my symbol for where someone wants to ask a question or something doesn't make sense of what happened at the accident. Or we're still trying to figure it out, like how could this have happened? Mm-hmm. It was real random, I would say. It okay. It happened at night on like 125th. But, but it shouldn't have, like it was almost like, how did this happen? Right. So, and no disrespect to the soul's departure, but I felt like it was a freak thing that happened. Yeah. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> was there a blow to the chest, do you know? or? <clears throat> I don't know, but I know he got ejected from the car. <clears throat> okay, so I felt the blow to the chest and the hitting of the head, so know that the soul immediately departed, okay. did not suffer to the death. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you go to the scene of the accident? No. Mm. I drove past probably uh, okay. like, later down the line. Okay. So you, so you went by, I don't care if you drove by, you went by, it's validating that the soul was with you when you went by the scene of the accident. Okay. Fair enough? Mm-hmm. Torch mm. don't like this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Torch don't like school. <laughs> what? Well, that's, but, so that's he cool. had an experience before. Was it with Teresa? What? Who? I believe so. Yeah. It had, that's the whole yeah, media? Yeah, the, the time, you came here years ago, you yeah. may not remember him, because at the time, he's a producer now, at the right. time he was an intern. Yeah, and you spoke about an incident that oh. is, that he related to. Yeah, and then he ended up leaving the building that day <laughs> oh. because of it. And so now you're the talking to him over. again. He, he look, you're looking yeah. at him again, nah, and it's I'm, like, oh, is that, is, that, is, that what, is that how we made this position? Now you're like, I gotta get this guy to come back. I'm cool now. You good now? <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. Listen, and it's never about, I don't care if people believe in what I do. I really yeah. want people to believe in themselves. I want them to believe in an afterlife. Mm-hmm. Like that young lady that called, I want her to know that if she, the things that she feels is real. Because we kind of make ourselves crazy, right? Mm-hmm. How could that be? Is that mm-hmm. right? Right. And it's just it just isn't so. Know that it's the soul. Can this gift be inherited? Like when you pass. Absolutely. Do you think that your children possess this ab- gift? Ab- I, I know we all have the ability to connect with our own loved ones. Mm. I have the ability to connect with everyone's. And some people might not choose to do like maybe my daughter or even my granddaughter. They mm-hmm. might not. This isn't for everyone. Mm-hmm. It's not easy. I make what I do look easy. It's not. Mm. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know. This is. I asked you about Tupac and we got this random voicemail from him. That you didn't feel that. But this one is. Well, no, well, I, I, no I, I, I feel that that was a sign. Like, I don't think things ran. I believe that things happen for a reason. Okay. I, and I, and I, I do, too. And I think that's why I wanted to. Pl- I, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. That's why I wanted to play it for you. I thought maybe that may or may not be the reason. I lost a lot of folks mm-hmm. in a um, past nearly two years. Mm-hmm. One of the people I lost uh, was a guy named Paul Tuave, who was a. Uh, um, brother from the Polynesian Islands, um, grew up in the Bay. When I moved to L.A., my partner, King Tech, and I moved to L.A. in the 90s, <clears throat> he and I went out on a dream to become these people, uh, and we took Paul with us. We uprooted him from his family, 
and I went to his mother and asked for her permission to take her son down to chase this dream with me and mm -hmm. my partner Tech. He became our confidant. He became a brother to us. We're all days apart. <laughs> Uh, and he uh, passed away maybe a year and a half ago. He had health issues that he. I just I felt all this blood. Like, <clears throat> did he have like internal injuries or internal bleeding? Yeah. <clears throat> and this, um, but like he, I feel like he ignored it. Oh my gosh, he. Uh, so yeah. and I think that that is something that even if he didn't ignore, would not have been able to prevent the departure. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I I never heard this before. I feel like he suffered in silence. Like he never expressed uh, what honestly was going on, but who was the mom that's connected to you that's passed? Oh, um, that could be my grandmother. Okay. My grandmother, very strong. Yeah, she was like pushing her way because there there were seven souls that when I looked at you, I saw them lined up, seven souls standing beside you, and then as soon as I started feeling what that gentleman made me feel, um, and then I saw the mother step forward. Yeah, my <clears throat> my grandmother passed away. Your mother's mother. My mother's mm -hmm. mother passed away around this time last oh. year. So that's and that and she but and I were. She was, is yeah. strong. Yeah. Like there is like she's that's like, Mama Elsie. Can you believe I died? Like I can't believe I died. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Like this is literally what she's saying to me. Like I can't believe I died. So whether if you say that and when you say that, know that her soul is with you at that exact moment. Mm hmm. Um, did someone, do you still, did you keep an article of her clothing? I don't know if it was like, uh, or maybe your mom, like a, an apron or like a house coat or something. I feel that she wore all the time. I personally, uh, I have pictures. Okay. But it's specifically clothing and uh -huh. I heard yes. So you might not have it. So ask someone else in the family. If they have it. If yeah. they have, but it's, it's like this thing that she wore all the time. Uh-huh. Um, Could have been like a shawl. Yeah, like a scarf, scarf or like a shawl. Well, I don't care what it is, but she always had it. Uh huh. Um, and thanking you for keeping the things that really had no monetary value but meant the world to her. Okay. And I feel like she looks so good. Yeah, it's beautiful woman. Beautiful, like yeah, yeah. breathtaking. Like she Stunning. is just gorgeous. And I feel like she's very well put together. She, her hair's all done. She's all dressed mm -hmm. impeccably and very polite. But don't think about. Yeah. Crossing her. She will that's her. put that, you I mean, in your place. You're definitely describing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Mama Elsie. Mama you Elsie. know, very regal, very yeah. eloquent. Very, mm -hmm. um, opulence. She liked to live the mm -hmm. good life. Um, very confident. Mm -hmm. uh, and she put a, a lot of that confidence in all of those qualities in her, her kids who put it in their mm -hmm. grandkids. I'm a grandson. So what, What's with the poem or the writings? So... Um, was there something that she always specifically said, or was there like a poem, or so, or unless if it's something that you wrote for her, um, or something that she would always say? I would voice memo her. Oh, because we would have these deep rooted conversations, and I would just voice memo those conversations and keep them, and then refer to them down the line. Perfect. So I'm sitting on a, vo a bunch of voice memos. And were you listening and writing them down? Because she keeps saying, I want to thank you for the amazing and beautiful tribute. So whatever mm -hmm. it is that you're doing, what you're listening to, writing down, compiling for yourself, know that she knows about that. She also just told me that you felt her soul when she died. Mm -hmm. You felt. So mm -hmm. know that that was real. Know that that was her soul that you felt. And it was almost like she wanted to give you a hug before she left the physical world. Well, she and my family, most of the people in recent times when they transitioned, for some reason or another, I always came to town. Wow. So I kind of, for it was my grandfather, wow. my uncle, mm -hmm. my um, cousin, my big cousin, mm -hmm. my older cousin, mm -hmm. I've always been there. Wow. I watched people take their last breath, wow. right? With my grandmother, um, the week that she transitioned, I had a sensibility <clears throat> and I didn't think I, I didn't want to be there mm -hmm. um, in that moment. I wasn't sure if I could deal with it mm -hmm. in the physical. Uh, and so when she did transition, I did feel it. And I had my auntie Katie, her daughter, her youngest daughter, call me to tell me mm -hmm. that it had just taken place. And you felt it. I was there that day, you know, and we were communicating with each other, her with her eyes, me with my mm -hmm. voice, and I could just sense something. Mm -hmm. And we had a really strong relationship, so yeah. um, it was a, a very uh, 
powerful transition. It was almost like you were like soulmates with her. I don't think people realize that like a soulmate doesn't always have to be our spouse or our partner. Mm -hmm. It could mm -hmm. be a best friend, mm -hmm. it could be a parent, Truly. a sibling. It's just that soul connection where we've been through so many lives. But whatever it is that you felt, it was nothing like you've ever felt before. Nah, nah, it was different. I, I yeah. went um, for every month for 15 years. Wow. I would fly back to the Bay to take her on dates or take wow. her fishing or take mm -hmm. her to the winery, all these different things. When I was younger, she and I <clears throat> shared her auntie uh, helped raise me, auntie, um, mm -hmm. person I speak about, Auntie Lucy. We inherited property together mm -hmm. that she took care of and she until I was of age. So she, we, I definitely think, believe we were soulmates. Mm -hmm. And so thank you for sharing that. Of course. Anything else you're getting from her? Because now she's but, seen some of my uh, the <laughs> errors in my way. <laughs> <That's what> I, <laughs> literally, what I heard was he's such a good boy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, all right, good, all right, good. Get your money now. Okay. Listen, she said you're such a good boy, and Tupac loves you. So I, I, I don't think it's any better than that. That's a wrap. <laughs> That's why you don't ask Linda no questions. You don't ask Teresa no questions. You just got to let her feel it. Are you like, have you got a question? No. If she wants to say something that's different, but I ain't asking that's nothing. Right. Heather's that's never right. so quiet until you come in the room. Not I noticed quiet. that. She Let's thank Teresa wow. Caputo for coming by today. Hey, Teresa, I'm going to leave you wow. with this. Hold okay. <laughs> Green eggs and ham. I like that, man. You didn't get nothing from that? Got nothing. Green eggs and ham. That's all you got? Sam, I am. It's Tupac. Machiavelli, the dog, representing that real hip hop with sweat. Truly representing for the streets. Well, this is Teresa Caputo, truly sitting here with sway. Give it up for Teresa Caputo. Y'all love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we appreciate you. Absolutely. Every Thursday, April 8th, starting April 18th, you go on Lifetime, you can watch Teresa Caputo Beyond the Readings. Also, Raising Spirits. Make sure you get the Hey Spirit podcast. Check that out, the award winning. Make sure you buy her book. Teresa Caputo could be reached at Teresa Caputo on all social media. You want to say anything in closing? I thought you were going to say, don't forget to tune in every Thursday. She'll be here with us every Thursday. I mean, <laughs> stop playing. The, the whole room would be frightened, though. I'm but you know. No, I, 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 I just announced my spring tour. So along on my website, if you want to check out a live show, uh, see if I'm in a city near you. There you go. Congratulations. Thanks. You look so amazing. Yes, Tell the family we said yeah. hi. Okay. I will. Thank All you. All right. We're God coming bless. right back. Shave 4-5. <laughs>